Hey, it's me. What's with the units heading down third? Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker. Didn't he just get paroled? Yeah, well, I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner with my ex after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. Peter, I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the Grand Committee stops by again... Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep? Please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. All right, let's see what all this um, noise is about. <laughs> My boy. Hi, Herman. Seriously? I'm gonna have to chase my boy here. Oh, there we go. I got him. Now let's talk. Oh, no. Oh, again, I'm gonna have to chase my boy. Damn it. Whoa, what the heck was that? Okay, I dodged. Couldn't avoid that first attack. Oh no, he's gonna he's gotta break out of it. Okay. I'm kind of sure my boy. You know what, Herman? You have like zero personality. But your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? Maybe later. Alright, I have completely fucked up that first dodge, but I made up for it by capturing him right afterward. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> Got a lot of baby girls lining on my boys. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah, I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just, Just here in the... Loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here. And Just I wanna hear MJ here. Break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. Nice. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Just got myself a bagel and a coffee. So casually. Something's gonna happen. Oh, I guess not. Let's find out about this mask, my boys. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm uh, sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. <laughs> See what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? Uh, I'm really not sure. Boy, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Yikes. Monk ass. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? Uh, I don't know. Why take the risk? 
Hmm. Interesting. Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. She well, won't drop this, dude. about as well as I could have hoped. She will not drop it. All right, I'm outie. So apparently I have some fitting or something to do for Dr. Otto Octavius. Let's see what we gotta do here. Hurry up, hurry up. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Oh, this is the fitting, I guess. Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. What? Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Norman Speak Osborne. Of the devil. Huh. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. What? Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But, but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. Mm -mm. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hungry well, Goblin versus hey, Doctor Octopus. Right now, let's go, my boys. Let's go. We'll be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talk about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. So yikes. I need some time to think. Come evil. You, I'd look for a new job. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. Mother of what Christ. Happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was, but one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew so Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Herman! Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but, uh... I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. Mm. Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Wanna play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rest? Okay, face punch it is. Hurt. Oh no. It's all a fight here, but it's. The are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. 
Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, they'll kill me! You know, people don't use banks anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trade. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Damn it. Oh, come on, Herman. You're freaking me out, Herman. It's not like you to be afraid of people. Oh. 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 Wait, did you see Max? Here we go again. I can lie, I fucked up a few times, but we learn from mistakes. No Demons are everywhere all of a sudden. 